Hi everybody and welcome, this is the Apostate Prophet. When I was a Muslim, I was often told about a savior that would come in the future, whose name was Mahdi. It's not Mahdi. That sounds like my whatever. The Mahdi is a character in Islam that is very important. He is supposed to be a great leader who is going to come before the end of time. A leader, a commander who will bring justice into the world. So in a sense, you could say that he is something like a messiah. He is a messianic figure. The problem is that Islam reserves the Messiah title for Jesus, who also happens to be very insignificant in terms of messianic missions in Islam. He came, he spread a message that didn't survive, he was supposed to be crucified but was taken to heaven by Allah instead, and he will come back in the future to kill the pigs and break the cross and all that. What you actually have in Islam is that there are two saviors, two commanders that will come in the future. One of them is the Islamic Jesus, who is not very comparable to the Christian Jesus, and the other is the Mahdi. Together they will do Islamic things like raise the sword for Islam and fight the Islamic Antichrist, the Dajjal, and fight the Jews, of course. And then this tribe or tribes of monsters, Yejuj and Majuj or Gog and Magog will come and storm the world and all that very realistic stuff. When it comes to the Mahdi, there is a split between Sunni Muslims and Shia Muslims. Shia Muslims have a quite different perception of who the Mahdi actually is and what he will come for. It made sense within the Shia Muslim context of the past that a savior would come in the future because Shia Muslims lost the fight for dominance in the Muslim world. The world was dominated by Sunni Muslims. The Shia were considered heretical, oppressed. But in the future, a savior will come and he will make things right and he will bring justice. And that is the Mahdi. This is actually very similar to how the Messiah is perceived within a Jewish context or within a Christian context. Sunni Muslims and sects and organizations and groups have been making predictions for a very long time about when the Mahdi will come. In today's time, including in my religious community, for example, where I grew up, it is always told that he will come very soon. He will come within the next generation, within the next decades, within the next century. Islamic scholars over the last thousand years have made predictions all the time. And even now, when you ask many Muslims or when you search the internet, you will find that many Muslims think he is about to come. The problem is that this Mahdi character is very vaguely described in Islamic sources. He never appears in the Quran, which is okay and understandable. Many other things don't explicitly or directly appear in the Quran, but he also doesn't really appear in the hadiths, the narrations about Muhammad and his companions. If we look at the two main hadith sources, the two Sahih books, Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim, it might be a surprise to some Muslims who don't know about this, but there is actually no single mention in those two books about the Mahdi. Yes, there is no single hadith in those two books which talks about the Mahdi. Only in less consistent and less reliable hadith books, such as Sunan ibn Majah, Jami al-Tirmidhi, and Sunan Abu Dawood, there is mention of a Mahdi or the Mahdi that will come in the future, and then the descriptions are very vague. The problem is also, if you look at these hadiths, he appears only in a handful of hadith, and among these, most are graded as weak, unreliable. It cannot be confirmed that these hadiths actually go back to Muhammad or his companions. Some of them are graded as Hassan, good, which means they could be used as supporting evidence. While there is one hadith that some scholars have graded Sahih, authentic. Some of these hadiths, even the ones that are graded good, have narrators in them who are not necessarily reliable or about whom much is not known. So it is hard for Islamic scholars, and it was hard for Islamic scholars, to verify that Muhammad ever spoke about a guy called the Mahdi. When you look at these handful of hadith that are very problematic, what you see is that they vaguely describe a 
leader or that the Mahdi will be from among the close family, the descendants of Muhammad. This is a theme that is very frequently found in Shia sources and Shia narratives that have a big obsession with Muhammad's immediate family members. Muslim scholars who have adopted this belief in a Mahdi who will come in the future have taken their beliefs from such dubious sources. But there is more. Here is another problem. The word Mahdi does not necessarily refer to a single specific person. Mahdi comes from Hidayah in Arabic and simply means the guided one or the one who guides or the leader. And throughout history, including in early Islamic history, this term was not exclusively used for somebody who will come in the future and who will do a specific job. It was used for great leaders, guided ones, who bring justice in general. When the Muslim caliphates were fighting among each other after the death of Muhammad, the Muslims referred to their preferred leader as the Mahdi, who will clear up this mess and bring justice to the Muslim community, for example. Then again, people back then always expected that the end will probably come soon. It's probably about to happen. So it was also for them expected that whoever the Mahdi was in their own time was the one who would bring the end, after whom Jesus would come and all the terrible things would happen in the world. Now, as said, in Shia Islam, the Mahdi carries a different importance. He is considered a very important savior. When we look at the 12 Shia Muslims, who are today the majority in Iran, for example, they had the belief that there will be only 12 Imams who lead the righteous Muslims, the Shia Muslims. And after the 11 11th Imam came, the 12th one, the son of the 11th Imam, appeared. And that one was considered the last one who will bring the end. And he was called the Mahdi. Of course, things didn't really go as expected. So later, whatever happened to that guy, the story appeared that that guy was the Mahdi, but that he disappeared and went into a state called occultation, where he is outside of our reality and waiting there to come out in the right moment to bring justice to the world. Shia Muslims back then thought, okay, he just went somewhere, he just went into this dimension, we just have to be good and righteous and then he will come and lead us. Now, a thousand years later, Shia leaders still say, yes, he did come then and he went into hiding and he has been in hiding for a thousand years, we just have to be good and then he will come and make things right. Yes, people believe in very strange things. Among Sunni Muslims or among different offshoots of Islam, people have emerged for a thousand years who were claimed to be the Mahdi or who claimed to be the Mahdi. The prophet of the Ahmadi Muslims, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, he himself claimed that he is the manifestation of Jesus and of the Mahdi. Different rulers and rebels throughout history either claimed to be the Mahdi and really propagated that, or their followers claimed that they are the Mahdi. Even in our time today, there are people alive who claimed to be the Mahdi. We have a very interesting guy today, Adnan Oktar, also known as Harun Yahya, who wrote serious Islamic books. Then later he turned into a sex cult leader. He's now being tried in Turkey for a criminal organization. Muslims cite a lot of secondary sources about who the Mahdi will be and what he will look like, where he will come from and what he will do and so on. The issue is that this seems to be a giant mess of a belief that was formed by Muslims over many centuries without actually having much of a foundation. There are even speculations among scholars that the entire idea of the Mahdi might have been something that was adopted from different Arab tribes that had local beliefs about a future savior. So it wasn't part of Muhammad's religion. It was just adopted from different Arab tribes and thought of as part of the religion it might also be that this entire idea of a Mahdi as a savior in the future was adopted by Sunni Muslims from Shia Muslims. But of course, people don't want to really look at the realities, so they will always say that the Mahdi will come soon, or others say the Mahdi is here, he is among us, which is very sus. 
I doubt that Muhammad himself ever prophesied the coming of such a guy. Shiites were waiting for an immediate savior back then. They are still waiting. Sunni Muslims don't know what they are waiting for. I want to be a prophet today and say, Stop it. Get some help. Give up your false hopes. Come back to reality. You're wasting your time. You could put it into much better things. You're welcome for watching. Thanks for watching. If you really love this video, don't forget to like, to subscribe, and to share. If you want to support what I am doing, consider supporting this channel on apostateprofit.com or on Patreon. I appreciate your support very much. I will see you soon. Have a fantastic day, and as always, stay away from Islam.